I was searching. I've always been searching for true love and true love and family. Those are the two things I was in, family and true love, because I, I do love and care about people. So I started researching the AFA. You said it was the last time, but you keep coming back to tell me. Sorry that you take back all the things you said just to hurt me. I love just my cold. background is uh, I was born in Baltimore, Maryland, uh, raised in Austin, Texas. Attended the University of Texas, played sports, and uh, then I left for the Marine Corps during Desert Storm. Uh, after I got out of the Marine Corps, uh, I joined the police department in West Texas, and uh, was a police officer for approximately 10 years, and then I took a better position with AT&T, in which I currently uh, work in fiber optics and copper and all sorts of communication and repair. Of, you know, internet, landlines, and home phone, and etc. I can't pretend now I have to I'm get. I've always been searching for true love and true love and family. Those are the two things I was in family and true love because I, I do love and care about people. So I started researching the AFA. Uh, I started looking online. Of course, when you first get divorced, being an older gentleman, I didn't know. I don't go to clubs, I don't do the party thing. It's kind of like it's been a long time. You know, and I was like, how do I start meeting women? So I did the internet dating and or internet searching, and I was just found AFA through the web as one of the sites. I said, well, let me, let me check this out, try something different. Oh, my wife. Well, everything I'd done before had failed in the United States. Uh, the websites over there, you can't, you don't know who you're talking to. But the AFA, I research, and the AFA does extensive research on the women. They don't just allow women to join up and go. They actually interview the women and they have a process they have to follow to show their true meaning or their true value of going to the, to find a man. And me, I'm, as the older, I don't, I don't have time for games. So I researched, I watched the videos and, uh, and, uh, and most everything's about the women want the same that I want. They want a man that's going to be with them for the rest of their life, loving, caring. And that good stuff was what's exactly what I was looking for. And I said, well, let me let me try it. Uh, just, it, 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 in America, they don't have such a, a thing a, a thing where you can, they can research women. You just gotta shoot it. But this, because you had done research and study upon Filipino women, Filipino women tend to be traditional, have traditional values. And I'm considered old school. I like where I can come home. You know, back in the old days, the wife stayed at home and cooked and cleaned and took care of you. Not to say that now, a lot of Filipino women in our states are actually getting more into working, but they still hold those values. Uh, I mean, there's good American women. I just wanted to try something different. Uh, and so after watching it, uh, I said, okay. And I have some friends that are married to Filipinas, and they're all still married, and they're extremely happy, and I just don't see much conflict in it. Staring me apart, I can't pretend gentlemen that were married, not to just Filipinos, but AFA has, you know, Colombia, Puerto Rico, they have, you know, uh, Ukraine, and of course being a minority, which more would I feel in, you know, are, are comfortable with. And Filipino women are, they're not about age, they're not about appearance, they're not about income, they're just about what a man that's going to be, stand up and be a man and raise a family. Uh, so I said, okay, that's I mean, they had everything that I was looking for. Uh, and there was, you know, of course, television shows, A Born Affair, and other things like that. So AFA had a, a history of, of creating marriages. And of course, all the testimonials through there. I like I said, I did some extensive research. I just didn't just, I guess, I'm, I want to be married and be done with it. Because uh, I'm about family. So uh, I said, okay, I'm going to do this. So I, it took me about two years before I came to social because I was pain a little bit and I was still watching a little bit and just kind of getting the feel because you can write you know letters to the women here and there but I hadn't uh, hadn't really said I'm going yet until you know it starts you start reading there you can talk all day to women you can write all day but you just have to do it eventually you just have to pull the trigger and do whatever you're gonna do and say hey it's a risk I'm gonna take you know let me go see for real are you a single man looking for love Perhaps you should consider expanding your horizons. Interested?
Learn more at mydreamasian.com. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new.